Hey everybody. What's up everybody? Today on Furball TV, we're gonna be interviewing with people. We're gonna be asking them how many years do they have to work in order to be able to afford a house. Without any hesitation, let's go ahead and ask them. Hey, what's your name? Uh, my name is Yumi. Uh, do you mind if I ask how old you are? Uh, 24 years old. 24, nice. What's your name? Elaine. Elaine, nice meeting you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, Andrea. Andrea. Yeah. Andrea, nice meeting you. Hey, what's up? What's your name? Hi, my name is Weibo. What's your name? Uh, John. My name is Elder Scott. My name is Elder Van. I'm Elder Kretschmer. Elder Baines. Elder Bishop. Elder Kirby. Do you know how many years do you have to work to be able to afford a house in Toronto? I guess probably five years, six years. I doubt so. But being in IT field, I, I hope so. Like five years would be enough. Five years. Do you mind if I ask, like, how much you earn per year? Well, right now I'm on a study basis, so like I'm a part-time student, so I, I earn like hardly twelve hundred dollars a month. But like after IT, after graduation, I prefer like one eighty or one fifty to one eighty k a year would be would be a preference, and I wish I would achieve it. Yeah. Perfect. So, yeah. May I ask you, uh, what's your preferred location to live? Yeah, I would love to be a part of Toronto and be around Toronto, so the first priority would be Toronto, and if not, then second priority would be Vancouver, if you get a chance, yeah. So first priority would be Toronto. Uh, do you work here or do you live in Toronto? Uh, no, I just moved in here, so I have to find a job for living here. Do you have any idea of how many years do you have to work in Toronto in order to afford a house? I want to work at about a year or a five, within a five years, yeah. Five years? Yeah. Okay. Uh, may I ask, what's your field of study? Uh, I major in American studies. It's about uh, political politicians and other things. Yeah. <laughs> Have you heard that the the price of the houses are rising very bad in Toronto? Yeah. Actually, I have no house. I just moved for live for just a month and two weeks. I have to find a house for next month. Uh, do you mind if I ask how old you are? Uh, I'm 19. 19, nice. Uh, do you know how many years do you have to work in Toronto in order to be able to afford a house? Well, with the housing prices right now, I'd say when I'm like 40, it's a pretty long time, but housing prices right now are really crazy. So I'd say I have to work like a lot and a lot to reach that. Especially if the prices don't go up by then, right? Yeah. The prices are definitely going to be up by then. So I think maybe even 50, because it's really getting ridiculous out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, do you mind if I ask how much you earn currently? Oh, I, I earn 22 an hour, and I'm on a part-time basis. How many years do you guys have to work in Toronto in order to be able to afford a house? Okay, more or less five, four or five years. For you take money enough to, to buy or to make some, pro, some products to have, to have a house. More or less this. Okay. And your credit score have to be in a good way to, to get uh, your house or your okay. apartment, yeah, etc. And uh, one other question, uh, do you guys uh, live in Toronto and do you guys work in Toronto? We are living, but we are living eight months, so <laughs> not, not, not so long. Uh, we are working here, yes, but like I, I know this time because of my sister that live in here 10 years and they could buy the house with four or five years more or less. How many years do you guys think that you should be able, you should be working in Toronto in order to be able to afford a house? It's a long time. <laughs> I'll say 69 years. 69 years? Wait, 69 years or when you're 69? Probably when I'm 69. Oh wow, that's a long time. 49 years. I'm 20, so 49. 
I would say you gotta have your kids out of the house, so probably like 50. So when you're 50. When you're 50, okay. So do you mind if I ask you how, many, how old you are right now? I am 19 years old. 19, perfect. 50, so in like 31 years. I guess. Amen. I'd say reasonably, I'd like to be able to afford a house probably by like 45, but with just like the interest rates and everything that's going up so high, it's probably not reasonably anyone's gonna have a house like fully paid off until they're at least 60. 42 years. I make a little bit more, I make a little bit more money than this guy does, so <laughs> 40, 42 years. So uh, do you mind if I ask how old you are right now? I'm 20. 20, so when you are 42 years or after 42 years? When I am 42. That's the plan. So in 22 years. It's 22 years, yeah, yeah. In 22 years. Okay, that's more optimistic. Hey, probably like 46 years, or when I'm 46. I'm 22 right now, so. Oh, I see. And uh, do you have a preferred location to get your house, or? That's a good one. Oh. Probably just say just outside of downtown, I'd say. I would say ideally you'd be able to have a house Probably when you're like 35, 40, but that's just not how it works for everyone. But if you, you know, if the circumstances are right, hopefully, you know, 35 to 40, like when I'm 35 to 40, would be like buying a house. But it depends, you know, the size of the house and where you're at, right? So. It's fine.